How you doing folks? Mike Lawson, Lawson Outdoors. And I got my workhorse here. <laughs> this is a true workhorse. The Troy built Bronco automatic transmission. And I haven't did a review on this tractor, but you know, I, I've had it for almost a year and a half now. And this is, well, this is the second cutting season. And it's an awesome tractor, awesome line tractor. Um, sorry about that. It has the um, Corolla Courage. I don't know if you can see that, the sun is shining. 19 horsepower engine, 597 cc engine, and the engine uh that coil has a lot of power i mean it is a twin cam engine and it, it it runs great i mean it cuts great um sometimes during like you know if you let the grass grow up to about five to eight inches it bogs down a little bit but overall it has pretty decent power to it 19 horsepower and <clears throat> this one is the automatic transmission edition. It has the um, gas pedal type um, drive on it to where you push the gap, push this pedal, and it um, actuates uh, belt tensioners and they tighten up the drive pulley to the, to the um, transaxle on here. And then, you know, in, in turn, that makes the, the uh, lawnmower go forward and reverse. So i love it i mean it's just like having a um it's just like driving a go-kart or something like that and it is performed awesomely i mean um the belt is kind of stretched out on here because i've I, i've used it to pull my boat <laughs> i have a uh, pro craft um procaster uh, 180 and that's an 18 foot boat with the um mercury 150 on it and I probably shouldn't have did it, but I used it to pull my boat and then actually pulled it up a hill and everything. So this tractor has been through um, heavy, heavy, extreme working conditions. And today what I'm doing, I got my old dump cart, it's not dump cart, but actually it's just a cart that came with my um, MTD and it's covered up over there, my MTD 760 and um. This is a heavy duty cart. Told y'all about it before, but it has a this insert right here into the bed is, is thick gauge steel. It looks like a quarter inch thick gauge steel. And it's kind of a setting and an insert to this bed. And this cart weighs about 200 and something pounds easy, unloaded. So what I'm doing today is I got my garden here. I'm not ready to do a review on that. Uh, a post a video on that but I'm bringing these it looks like oak um, we got woods here in the and the woods in the back stretch out to about probably about four or five acres or something like that and people ride to go ride their four-wheelers and you know um, um, mules and all those trail vehicles they ride them out there and they made a big trail <coughs> big pad they cut some of the wood down to cut some of the trees down and just threw it by the wayside so i'm using these logs these big heavy logs to they're not big and heavy but they're big they're decent size three inches and three inches to four inches in diameter and i'm using this to line my garden so to keep you know to keep the water from one running off keep the uh, soil from uh eroding off and losing minerals and stuff so um that's what i'm doing putting it through you know putting my uh troy built bronco to work today so um i guess i'll take you with me as we try to find some more logs
kind of a dense, dense, grown up forest back here. I have to push over trees in order to get, get through it. I'm, over time, I'll make me a path, you know, pushing over these trees.
size pile of wood right there. I think we got a good size load right here. I probably could go heavier on this, but as you can see, that ditch line runs all the way down. And again, it rained, um, not yesterday, but two days, two consecutive days before that. So it's still kind of muddy and I run the risk of getting the whole trailer stuck, but I got a good size load of wood right here. Pretty good size load right there. And I'll try to get it home.
say it might not look like it, but we're going up a hillside right here. And I kind of had to gun him to keep going. We lost one wood, but I'll try to make it up. I don't know if I'll be able to get up. This is up a hillside. We just came through a ditch. So we're, all of this is uphill with this load. As you can see, I had to go a different route, but now I'm stuck right here on a tree. This hillside is really tough. I'm gonna have to pull the um, trailer to the side to um, get it to go over that tree. But I still have close to home, but still have to make it up through here. So I repositioned the camera.
Yeah, I'll tell you what I had to do. I had to offload some of them, some of the wood. I didn't want to, but what is going on is the tree's root system, the tire is running along the surface and the tire is spinning on the roots itself. So with these, you know, factory um, lawn tires, they don't get much traction out here. But I'll see if I can make it up without having to unload anymore. actually had to roll over trees to go that way but all of these all of these stumps not stumps but all of these roots are what 
I'm hanging up on. I mean, long story short, I'll have to take some of this wood off of here, but I don't want to. I'm stubborn. That's the only way for me to make it. Actually, it's not. I have to go through my neighbor's yard, so. I won't, will not unload the wood. I'll go another way. It's always another way to go, people. Let's go. Hopefully I don't run out of gas before I get there. I came over that. This is a hill right here. Bring the camera back. I'm, actually, I'm home right now, but haven't made it to the garden.
made it home, people. As you see, um, I kind of had to go pick up the camera, so I just stopped there after that point to where I made it up that little small hill. Here's the wet. We finally made it. Full load. I had to unload it once. I shouldn't have did it. I should have just turned around, but I couldn't turn around. So, uh, loaded it back up. Didn't unload it again. Just went a different way. And the Troy built Bronco made it. I mean, it's it's a true workhorse. <coughs> true workhorse. As you can see good size load of wood I have one log on there that, that looks like it's six inches in diameter one five Good size haul. Good size haul of wood right there. I don't know, I can't gauge the weight. Probably about 250 pounds all together or something like that, maybe. 300 I don't know but this cart itself weighs 200 pounds plus it's heavy gauge steel 200 pounds plus so a whole load about probably about 600 pounds or something like that guesstimating and this Troy built Bronco is a workhorse again if you're looking you know this tractor this riding lawnmower comes from Lowe's and it's a d good, decent Ryan lawnmower. I paid about 1100 for it. And <clears throat> it's pretty stout, pretty strong, even though it has that little sheet metal, you know, everything on it is that kind of thin sheet metal. But it's a pretty stout, stout um, lawn tractor. <clears throat> it's actually not a lawn tractor. It's actually just a lawn mower, riding lawn mower, but I took the deck off of it and I put it to work and I actually put it to work through the ringer <laughs> and that 19 horsepower coiler engine it does great on there I mean this has a lot of power as you can see it pulled it pulled that load and pulled this trailer and it's great how you doing man all right yeah, it's pretty stout. So if you're looking to get a Troy built Bronco with the automatic transmission, go ahead, get it. It's a good, it cuts pretty good. 42 inch deck, I think. It cuts pretty good. The um, forward and reverse the gear shift lever for the transmission. You don't, you don't, you don't even, you know, it, it doesn't make you have to push the brake to change the gear you can just let off the gas pedal over there or whatever the gas pedal drive and then change the gear on the fly so you can work this just like you work a hydrostatic transmission you know it works just as quick you know a little slower but it works way quicker than a, a gear select and um lawn tractor but again a outstanding you know outstanding by in my pre in, in my opinion so just put that toy built to work and I'm glad I didn't run out of gas because I would have hated to walk back here and get the gas can but as you can see <coughs> that first load that I had 
my wife came and I had to talk to her, so I just came back and brought that load back. And I didn't I didn't make a video on that one, bringing that back, bringing that um, load back. But I actually had more weight on this load, so an awesome video. Had to walk it out the woods and you know regular put it to work, put that Troy built to work, and it's truly indeed a Bronco. Lost in outdoors. I'm out.